Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's one-year-old son Archie does not have a royal title yet. However, this will change when his grandfather, Prince Charles, begins his reign as the King of England after Queen Elizabeth II. Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor, the 15-month-old son of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, will reportedly automatically become a prince when his grandfather, Prince Charles, becomes the King of England. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may be trying their best to give their son Archie a normal life, but that won't stop him from becoming a prince one day if he wants to be. As you may recall, Archie's parents decided to keep their titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex when they stepped down as senior members of the royal family in 2019. However, they decided to drop the HRH formalities when they split. Archie may choose to follow in his parents' footsteps, or he could decide to re-enter the royal fold on his own. A royal expert spoke with Express about how Archie will be sixth in line to the throne when his grandfather becomes king, and while he'll automatically become a prince, he can decide at age 18 whether or not he wants to use his his royal highness title. His cousins, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, already have the HRH title. This is significant because Prince Harry and Meghan chose to leave the royal life a few months ago and also chose to not give Archie a royal title at the time of his birth. However, there is one caveat if he does rejoin the royal family in a more meaningful way. Us Weekly explained, once Prince Charles ascends, Archie will become sixth in line for the throne after his uncle Prince William, William's three children, and his own father, Harry. As sixth in line, Archie would then become subject to specific marriage rules in the royal family. The 2013 succession of the Crown Act means Archie would be required to ask the reigning monarch for permission to marry, which would likely be either Charles or William. However, this could change as Archie could be bumped out of his place for the crown. Should one of William's children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, or Prince Louis, have their own child, then Archie would become seventh in line, thus outside the Succession Act's parameters. Expert Ian McMarthane also explained another rule that Archie may be subject to now that he will become sixth in line to the throne, a royal rule where he has to get permission to marry. He explained, Prior to the succession of the Crown Act 2013 all descendants of George II, under the terms of the Royal Marriages Act 1772, unless the issue of a princess who had married into a foreign royal family, had to obtain the sovereign's permission to marry in order to retain their rights in succession. The 2013 Act sought to bring multiple pieces of outdated and discriminatory legislation relating to the monarchy up to date. Through this act male primogeniture was abolished, allowing the first-born child irrespective of gender to become heir apparent, he continued. The disqualification from inheriting the throne by marrying a Catholic was removed, and the Royal Marriages Act of 1772 was repealed, resulting in only the first six in line to the throne being required to obtain the sovereign's permission.